by using the interfaces we have with IAB. So technically, if we take a look here at the uh, PLC navigator, we can see that in this particular project, no PLCs have been imported. So I can actually now import the data that was created in ArsLogix Architect or even in Integrated Architect Builder. I can uh, simply open the file that was generated from the Integrated Architect Builder and here we go, it will import everything that was pre-selected on this uh, selection tool that Rockwell offers you to make sure that you don't make any mistakes configurating your PLC. Now, what you will see here, once I update, you can see here that we imported a few different PLC items. Some of them, this is actually the PLC rack. If we go further down, you will see here the PLC rack itself, which is probably the A10 rack. And if I move down here, these are the PLC cards. Now what I can do is I can generate the PLC pages that correspond to these PLC cards. Now, automatically, ePlan recognizes the part number, and I can actually associate each of these inputs and outputs with some sort of a small macro. Now, I created already a uh, standard here, which automatically assigns a few push buttons, a few limit switches, flow switches to my inputs and output cards and I can just simply click on OK and here this will generate for these five PLC cards the uh, PLC for each of the in each individual uh, I.O. card. Now here you can see on the left hand side this is what got generated page 20 is the first PLC card, let me just close this, with all the individual items that are actually related to it. Now, of course, I have to connect on that page 20, I have to connect my 24 volt. For this, I can use one of these EPLAN macros that I created, and here I just select, I position it wherever I need it, I say this is going to be on my circuit number one, this one over there will be actually my circuit number two, so I just select here circuit number two. What happens at this point is the cross-reference automatically generates the cross-reference from here back to this page here, which actually contains the 24 VDC1, which was my first circuit. Now, if I move over onto the other side, so view, and I say here zoom 100%, I go on this one here, just zoom in, you can see that we have 1066. This is actually the second one that gets me a cross-reference. Now, interesting is if you move it right into the line, you, of course, get the cross-reference of 24, 2040 automatically. So this cross-reference is an automatic cross-reference that always gets generated inside ePlan once you have your position interruption points. Save probably close to 20-40% of your time by doing this.